The black hole in Interstellar was so scientifically accurate that it took 24,000 hours to render just 10 seconds of animation for the movie. If you tried to render it on your laptop, it would have taken 8 years. When Christopher Nolan was working on the movie, he knew he wanted the black hole to be grounded in real physics. So he worked with Nobel Prize winner Kip Thorne to use Einstein's real relativity equations for the light and matter in the scene. Thorne won the Nobel Prize in 2017 for his work detecting gravitational waves from black holes colliding. So he was the right guy for the job. The result was the single most accurate depiction of a black hole's accretion disk and gravitational lensing ever created. Not just for movies either, it's the best black hole simulation ever made, period. They even published papers about the techniques that they developed for the black holes. Since then, we've actually taken real pictures of black holes, but they look kind of different. Well, here's Kip Thorne's actual explanation for why. I don't think they look very close to like at all. So we're just going to move the camera from the, near the equatorial plane up to the North Pole. And so if you do that, and then you fuzz things out because the Event Horizon Telescope doesn't have very good resolution, lo and behold,